This is the situation right now. And I'm getting it all over my camera. So Jax and I, hey, Jax and I are going to answer some of your questions from Twitter at Row Fitness, if you guys don't follow me already. This first question comes from at Oceanos Pere. Well, this person asks, I'm looking for a weight gainer and a pre-workout. What are your input on these two products? So. First of all, this this question normally comes from like guys that um, relatively super skinny, fast metabolism, um, work out sometimes, and not not being able to gain much weight, whether whatever whatever they're eating or whatever it is. Um, BSN makes a product called True Mass, and I recommend this product to people that ask me that same question because you get a more bang for your buck when it comes to this product. So 1200 calories, 16 fat, 222 carbohydrates, and 50 grams of protein. Now, if you think about having 222 grams of protein in one sitting, you're gonna feel like crap after. So what I recommend to people is do one scoop, which is 600 calories, eight fat, 111 carb, and 25 grams of protein, and you have that somewhere in the morning, maybe for breakfast, and then later on in the day, I wouldn't do it before you go to bed, but split those two servings up throughout the day to get those extra calories, help you gain some weight. The other question he asked is about pre-workout. Now, I did some videos before, what you want in a pre-workout and all that stuff, and you're always looking for caffeine, because that's pretty much what pre-workout is. If you don't like caffeine, look for some of those natural um, energy boosters, uh, lots of B, B vitamins, um, green tea extract, things like that to help help pick give give you a little pickup. And you always want um, leucine or not leucine, arginine and citrulline. You want those two products in there, or those two amino acids in there, always. Next question comes from at John Hurley three. I could say that one. He says, "Hey man, I love BSN Amino X. Excellent product." any information on the amount of leucine per serving. So when you look at a lot of products, um, always amino acid products and pre-workout. It always, they don't say exactly how much things are in it, except for caffeine, that's FDA. Um, you have to put how much caffeine is in a product. Um, other other 
um, ingredients and products, they always put like energy blend and they'll put like 10 grams and it'll list a bunch of the in ingredients. So the same thing goes with amino X. It's called anabolic amino acid interfusion. And that's 10 grams of L-leucine, L-valine, L-isoleucine, L-aline, taurine, citrulline. Those products or those ingredients are in that blend, which is 10 grams. So it's not saying exactly how much is in there. It's usually uh, 3, 2, 1 being 3 grams leucine, 2 grams valine, and 1 gram isoleucine. That's pretty much consistent with like every product. So to answer your question, there is I don't have the answer, but that's kind of how things are put together. Next question comes from at L Cho Chownin Chownin at L Chownin. His question is: How often do I have to take Synthesis Isolate and the Amino X? Should I take it before workout or after? If so, how long before a workout or how long after? Okay, so. Synthesis isolate, how often to take it, and amino X. Um, definitely, if you can't get any protein in the morning through whole foods, I would have a protein shake before or in the morning. And also, I would definitely have it after my workout. So those two times, if you can hit those two times, um, only if you can't get that source of macro macronutrients um, in whole foods. So if you can't get those in the morning or after your workout, definitely have a shake those two times. Um, yeah, so not, you know, before your workout, if you can just eat before a workout, get some carbs in you, um, have some kind of source of protein. But if you can't do that either, have a shake then. Definitely after your workout though. Amino X, definitely in the morning. If you can do it in the morning, you can actually do amino X throughout the day. Aminos you want throughout the day. Are you moving around? Um, aminos you want throughout the day. You get them through a whole food. You get them every time you eat. They're definitely in protein supplements. So um, during your workout, if you can have them then, if you can have them first thing in the morning, those are probably the best two times. So with protein, first thing in the morning if you can get it. If you don't get it through whole foods, post-workout if you don't get it through whole foods. Same thing with amino X. If you can just fill that in your water throughout the day and have it, that's perfect. Next question comes from J Smoothie. Smoothie. At MC52796. His question is How many days a week do you hit abs? And what workout is most effective to get the abs you have? <laughs> um. I've done so many ab videos. If you could just like go back and check all those out. Um, how many days a week do I hit abs? I don't always hit my abs every day. Um, I don't even hit them every other day. Uh, a lot of sometimes a couple days a week, maybe I'll hit them. Um, but what I like to do when I do abs, I always make sure I do my upper. I always make sure I do um, my lower abs, hanging leg raises, leg lifts, and I always try to do some kind of twisting motion. Um, with a bar behind my neck, I'll do twists like that, or I'll hold a ball and do twists. Different things, tons of ways to hit your abs. Um, I would say the most effective way to hit your abs is just regular crunches and some kind of leg raises to hit your uppers and hit your lowers. Although you're going to work them all doing those two exercises um, to hit them to focus on doing. So, so, so focus on doing um, however you feel doing floor crunches. So if you're doing floor crunch and you can feel the top of your abs while you're doing them, make sure that you're hitting your top abs. And then when you're doing leg lifts, you're definitely going to hit them and your hip flexors. So those are the most effective. How many days a week do you hit them? If you don't, if you know that you don't have any kind of mus muscular abs, like if you never dieted down and seen that you have muscular abs, you're not going to see them. You're not going to see abs the more you do abs. It's more about your diet. But if you know you don't have um, any like 
bigger abs where if you did die down, you're not going to see any come out. Um, you do weighted stuff. So if you know you have muscular abs and you can see them, then you don't have to worry too much about doing weighted stuff. But if you don't, then do, just hit some weighted stuff, tie something to your feet, do leg lifts, throw something on a, on a weighted crunch machine or something like that. So kind of just rambling on about abs, but, um, I have tons of workout videos. You can go back and check them. Just look at, look for the ones that say abs in the title. So, well, I really rambled on on that one, huh, Jax? You there? Come here. Come here, bud. All right. We're going to do the next one with him here like this. I can hear on my phone. You want to read the next one? I need help losing lower belly fat. Any advice? Well, oh, this comes from Matthew Brown. Brown Town 62. Brown Town 62. So, all right. So when it comes to um, losing body fat, okay, you can never target where you lose body fat. Belly fat, whatever it is. <laughs> Um, when, when you see all these commercials and stuff, it says lose belly fat or, um, Garcinia Cambogia is going to help you lose belly fat. It's not, doesn't work like that. You don't lose a specific area of fat doing a specific thing. So if you want to lose fat, you could do tons of cardio and you're going to lose more weight in your legs maybe than you will in your upper body. Not just because you were doing cardio and you're running, but that's might be where you tar where you'll lose fat first. When I lose weight, my arms, um, I see more definition in my arms before anything, my legs too. So I lose like my midsection weight last or something like that. I hope that makes sense, but you cannot target where you're gonna lose weight. So you need to just do cardiovascular exercises Start getting in the gym, lifting weight, and you will lose weight. You won't lose specific areas of your body weight. Doesn't work like that. I hope that makes sense. All right, so our last question before Jax needs to go to sleep, right? I said sleep, and you knew what I was talking about. All right, this comes from Kyle NG at Kyle NG15. He says, hey, Steve, I have a question. I take NL Explode right now, but not. I don't feel anything. When do you usually recommend taking it before a workout? 20 to 30 minutes? So this is going to depend on the person. It's going to depend on whether the person um, is sensitive to the ingredients in NL Explode or is uh, maybe you have a full stomach and you... Um, Maybe you just ate like an, like an hour before and you need more digestive time. So this happens to me sometimes. I'll wake up um, on my days off. Where are you going? On my days off, I wake up and I eat and then I hang out for a little while, get changed and stuff like that. And then I start drinking my pre-workout. And sometimes I don't feel it depending on how much I ate. So if you have, so if you have a meal um, an hour if you have a meal at 9 a.m. and you plan on working out at 10 a.m. and you take pre-workout, I don't know, around uh, 9.45, you're probably not going to feel that in your stomach. You're probably not going to feel the effects of it. Um, you might feel it if you take it at 10.30, an hour and a half later, after you eat. <laughs> um, so it really just depends on the person's digestive system um, it depends on a lot of things. So, Kyle, I would suggest that stop taking it the way you're taking it and take it uh, a little later than the next time you eat. So, if so, I'm just throwing numbers out here. If you eat at 9 a.m. or if you planned on working out at 10 a.m., I would eat at 8 a.m., and then let your body start digesting and digesting and digesting and then take your pre-workout at like 9 45 and see how that makes you feel if you feel it way too much maybe eat at 8 30 and take it at the same time so you kind of just have to play around with it and see where you feel the best so when i have my work days i eat around 4 30 
and I start drinking my pre-workout at 7 o'clock at night. That's kind of just the way I have to do it because of my schedule, but um, I definitely do feel the effects of it. I feel more energy, more energy. So um, Kyle, that's what I would do. I would just mess around with the timing. That's what you got to do for it. So we want to thank you all for watching this q and I'm sorry if it bored you, but um, we had a good time, right, Jax? We did. So I'm going to go edit this, let Jax go to bed. And uh, don't forget, I'm heading to New Jersey tomorrow to Vitamin Worlds in Clifton, New Jersey and East Rutherford, New Jersey. I will post tomorrow where I'll be at. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.